name is Ardalan. Do you want to have a brief overview of saffron growing indoors? A statue with me. The best harvesting the bulbs in the spring or at the beginning of summer because the bulbs in the sleep and we can easily harvesting without any interaction with the bulbs. The best bulbs for Growing saffron indoors is over 20 grams. As you see, the bulbs we are harvesting the bulbs of the ground and the soil. The best time is at the beginning of summer because the bulbs are in a sleep and we can easily harvest every 100 house needs to 7 tons the bulbs. As you see, the best bulbs for saffron growing indoors over 20 grams at the beginning of summer we harvest the bulbs of the soil When harvest the bulbs, we should store the bulbs and for example two weeks or three weeks we should store the bulbs in 25 centigrade humidity about 70 percent and we don't need any light or oxygen we should store until we replace to greenhouse or house or our farm. As you see, the bulbs should be clean, should be big, and the size of them should be over 20 grams. And as you see, they are white, clean, and good for saffron growing indoors. We should carefully purchase, we should choose carefully because so important at the beginning of this stage for suffer growing indoors. As you see, as you see, it is clean. Then I'll separate when. I have all of them, all of them are clean and ready for replacing to haul to our farm, to our greenhouse. As you see, propagation because it's good and as you see, all things is the new bulbs. We'll create new bulbs this, this point as you see. Okay, we need to shelve, for example, 100 meters, we need to 1 ton the iron of shelf, the distance between two floors of the shelf in the greenhouse, so important. After that, we need two wooden boxes, wooden boxes that each wooden box keeps about 5 kilograms of bulbs and we can put the 5 kilograms of bulbs in these wooden boxes. Wooden boxes is better than plastic boxes and the other material of other materials. The wooden box is great for keeping humidity because work with the wooden boxes is easier than the other materials. And as you see, the size of them is 40 centimeters in 60 crosses, 60 centimeters. As you see, the wooden boxes, the size of wooden boxes is so important, we should replace, we should carefully, easily. As you see, the wooden boxes, every wooden box is, keeps about 5 kilograms the bulbs. As you see, the high of 5 centimeters, 
the wooden box in greenhouse in house. And we need to fungicide, pesticides because we should prevent of disorder, disease and insects. As you see fungicide fungicide we should disinfect with disorder and disease of saffron growing indoors. The bulbs as you see the bulbs are in the wooden boxes. We should choose the best density of the bulbs as you see. Before that should disinfect with fungicide pesticide and insecticide. There are liquid forms, solid forms, and it is the oxygen gibberlic for better flowering in saffron growing indoors. It's so important. We should choose, we should choose the best size, the best over 20 grams. For example, a small size of bulb doesn't work in saffron growing indoors. We should choose the big size, the best size, the clean bulbs. For example, the up is great for saffron growing indoors. For example, over 20 grams, over 20 grams, we should the bulb size. When we control four factors, the flower gradually appear from the bulb. Temperature at the beginning or second phase or at the beginning fall or reproductive phase, four factors should be controlled. Temperature 17 centigrade, carbon dioxide 600 ppm, light 1000 lux and carbon dioxide 600 ppm, humidity about 80 percent. After that, you have flowering. And as you see, you are watching the bulb, the best flower of this seed. As you see, the flower of the wooden box. During two weeks, as this bud of the bulb teach is teach as NFT in the hydroponic system. As you see, we are harvesting the flower of wooden boxes. It's very really simple. During two weeks, we have flowering. We should control temperatures 14 centigrade in day and 10 centigrade in day, and the best flowering. Each ton bulb gives up 100 half of two grams drought flowers. Each tons compost gives us 1.5 kilogram drought flower. Each 70, each 70 bulbs, each 70 wet flower gives us 1 kilogram. As you see, I am harvesting the flower from each and each 70 wet crops or wet flower gives us gives us one kilogram drought flower. As you see, it's very beautiful. And I'm the harvesting flower of the wooden boxes. Thank you so much.